Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to Don's Hot Rod Garage. Big Don with you. It's Saturday, October 22nd. We actually got pretty decent weather today, but normally I work six days a week. And my chariot is waiting on me to go pick up another pick up another dumpster it's never ending but this is just a small video um, I just recently went over 1 million views on all my all my videos totaled you know all the videos together went over a million views and that's crazy because when I first started this channel I was just trying to document my life and kind of spread what knowledge I know about tri fives and old cars in general working on them fixing them up how to hunt for them things like that and uh it's pretty cool to have a million a mi million views i never thought i'd get i'd have got to that point you know and uh i really wish i had started this channel years ago because there are so many cool cards that i've had in the past um that i wish i would i wish i'd be able to watch a video to where i could you know all the videos i'm doing now i'll be able to sit back years you know years down the road and be able to sit back and kind of watch what I was doing at this point in my life um, so if you've clicked on Don's Hot Rod Garage in the past I appreciate it you know it means a lot and all my all my people that subscribed I've met a lot of cool people throughout this journey and uh, you know one thing I've always wanted to say and I always forget on my videos you know if you guys are sitting there tempted on the edge of your seat you think you should do YouTube videos give it a shot you know Give it a shot. If you're doing something with your life or, you know, something cool you think other people might want to watch, give it a shot, you know. YouTube's a really cool platform to uh, present your world, basically. So, anyways, uh, I just wanted to say thank you on that. And then I'll show you a couple little things. Uh, let you get back to your day. I'm hoping I'll be able to get done. We're having some nice weather this weekend, so I'm hoping I'll be able to get done today. And maybe today or tomorrow... Uh, tack that uh, left hand rocker panel in on my 55 convertible I'm hoping um, you know one thing about it um, my channel is not like a build off you know I try to I really like the cars I got and I try to repair them the highest quality that I can on everything I do to them so it's a kind of a slow process and and like for example my 55 convertible that metal work that's that is the hardest work you can do on a on an old car is rust repair. It is grueling work, uh, and it takes time. And I'm trying to do a quality job. That's why, you know, I get a lot of comments. Oh, I can't wait till the engine's in, or I can't wait till it's painted. Like, you know, guys, you would have had to have seen that car on that rainy, cold day in January when I brought it home to be able to truly stand back and appreciate what that car looks like right now. Because I mean. You wouldn't even recognize it if I, if I would have had videos of it, how it looked when I brought it home versus how it is now. And, you know, that's how a lot of my cars are when I first get them. You know, I'm, it's just kind of a you're in the right spot at the right time. And uh, that's how it works out for me. I see a lot of cars that are a lot nicer cars, but I can't justify in my life and how I view things to spend crazy money on a car that still needs crazy money put into it. I'm just not interested. I'm not interested at all. Uh, one guy told me years ago, he said, your life can be really simple if you just get in where you fit in. Don't fight it. Just get in where you fit in. And that's always stuck with me, you know. And I have a lot of patience. I, I learned that from my grandpa to... Uh, just take your time with something. Life is not a rush. You know, at the end of the day, um, the reality of life is it's such a it's such a long journey, but it's a short trip, you know. So just take your time and try to try to do the best you can. Um, that's my opinion. And that's why the convertibles taking me it's taking me a little bit longer than maybe other people that have YouTube channels and they do meta work. Plus, I don't work on it quite as much as I should because sometimes when I get off work, a six-day work week, I'm flat out beat. So there's just there ain't nothing left for me to give. Uh, go inside and hang out with the family, which is perfectly fine. So, anyways, a few people. I got a uh, 
2000 Chevy pickup truck like um, probably almost a month ago and a couple of people wanted to see a video of it but I I do a small little walk around on it so this is the truck that I had uh, got it's a 2000 Chevy 2500 2001 was the first year that where they actually went to a 2500 HD that had it had the raised hood and you know it was more of a heavy duty truck this is kind of like your mid 2000 Chevy truck not mid 2000s mid mid 90s Chevy truck uh, as far as how the drivetrain set up in 2001 when Chevy and GMC introduced the 2500 series it was much more heavy duty than this one being a 2000 model but it's pretty clean for the age and the inside of it I mean they really took care of it so for everybody that wanted to see a video of it I need to swept out some but it's a pretty nice truck uh, there's that and then earlier this year I had a nomad that I was putting together and I, I got rid of it to a guy and I just recently got it back um, and this is all I got back it just didn't work out for him he had other things going on that he wanted to do so this is how I got the car back from him and I don't know what I'm going to do with it this is all the parts you know it it had the some glass in it and I have a few pieces of glass but no none of the stainless or anything this is this is just how it come back and it's rough very rough 55 Chevy Nomad if you guys have watched my channel you know this car I started to piece it together you know with the parts that I had try to make something out of it and I thought he was going to do something with it but you know life happens no big deal so he asked me if I wanted the shell back you know I said yeah we'll work something out on it so I don't know what I'm going to do with it I just sit there until something happens and here's my 55 Chevy that I had rescued from a junkyard it's a 55 Chevy two-door sedan it was an original Bel Air, but I'm going to try to do it 150. Try to make it a daily driver one of these days. But it needs one-piece floor, one-piece trunk. It needs that back splash pan area you see there. It needs the section in front of the quarter panels, rocker panels, motor, transmission, exhaust, brakes, you name it. It adds up, guys. It really does. Everything nowadays is twice as expensive as it was when I first started messing with these cars you know 30 years ago and i know a lot of people you know tell me when they bought these cars when they was getting them for 25 and 50 bucks and driving them home but i have them same experiences but my cars that i got for that cheap would have probably been like a 78 malibu or something like that you know something from the 70s monte carlos i used to love them 73 to 77 Chevy Monte Carlos They always had good engines in them, you know and the bodies around here We get so much rain and just horrible weather that the bodies would rust out on them cars You'd be able to get that 350 or that 400 small block drive the car home for a hundred bucks And then you'd have a drivetrain years ago. That's where I'd have got the motor for this car uh, but this car, I'd love to make this car a big block car. I just don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. There's so many other cars in front of it. So many other project cars in front of it. I'd love to put just a big block in it. Just cruise it. But I don't know. A friend of mine's got a 348 out of a 59 Impala that I thought would be really cool in this car. With just like a, you know, a T10 four speed or something behind it. Worst part about it, guys, when you start uh, when you start building them up too much, you make them non-drivable. That you can't drive them. It's terrible. The car will go fast, fast, quick. You know, it'll go real fast, real quick. But you can't you can't cruise it. They want to load up. They they don't get uh, hardly anything for fuel economy. They don't get uh, 
anything for fuel economy like eight miles to the gallon if you're lucky they're temperamental they don't want to start when they're hot you know so but if i could find a bone stock 396 or 454 and put it in there or even a bone stock 348 that'd be a cool little that'd be a cool deal in there four speed or automatic originally i wanted to make it a gasser but everything costs so much you got to kind of pick your battles anymore yeah here's the other side of it yeah, I was hoping he'd really fix this car up, but uh didn't work out. And I understand, you know. There's nothing wrong with realizing that you got yourself in too far. There's nothing wrong with that at all. There used to be a song saying you got to know when to hold and know when to fold. So, that's that, guys. Another Saturday. I am just figured I'd do a small little video uh down here getting ready to take off work a little bit more head home so thanks for stopping by don's hot rod garage i appreciate all the support on the channel and all the cool people i've met along the way it's been a great experience like i said if you guys if you guys are building a hot rod or building a garage anything if you think it's cool start yourself a youtube channel but the thing about it is you have to constantly upload or your channel won't go nowhere it's the sad reality of it so anyways hope everybody's having a great weekend like comment subscribe catch you guys on the next video